heading for the station with a pack on my back. I'm tired of transportation in the back of a hack. I love to hear the rhythm of the clickety clack and hear the lonesome whistle, see the smoke from the stack, and pal around with Democratic fellas named Mac. So take me right back to the track, Jack. Choo choo, choo choo, choo boogie, woo woo, woo woo, choo boogie, choo choo. Take me right back to the track, Jack. The art, art history, and history books on the bottom shelf lay the foundation for the exhibit that's repeated on the top banner. You cannot get to the central focus of the display, the evocative barroom scene painted in 1946 by the Northwest Native American artist Delbert McBride without realizing that, yes, this is 1946. The war is over. The country is elated by possibilities, a new era of peace and innovation. The nighttime black and white photo to the lower left is a stand-in for the exterior of the barroom scene near Fort Lewis. The black and white elements meant to contrast with the colorful artwork highlight the similar transition taking place in film, television, and photography. There are seven other examples of Dell's artwork. Working in and around what was to become known as the Northwest School of Art, McBride used Northwest social realism, social and political protest, humor, and Northwest native design among his styles. On the top left is the cover of the New Yorker magazine he drew for the May 16, 1940 issue. Below is a peace protest postage stamp poster he did in 1938 while at Lincoln High School in Tacoma. On the wall is a colorful mural in motion using native design. Three more paintings on the right are in also predominantly black and blue hued native design. Back to the shelf, a vibrant bus scene of a mother and her son is social realism from 1948. With a quick nod to the mid-40s model Mercury and the Ford Woody Convertible, then we'll start with Jolton Joe DiMaggio, the Yankee great. He served in the war, as did many major league ball players, a flat-out hero touted in the Simon and Garfunkel lyrics, Where have you gone, Joe DiMaggio? Our nation turns its lonely eyes to you. Then jump to the merchant ship in the center for another postage stamp stating, War and Peace for three cents, and on to the 50 cent piece, a half dollar Walking Liberty 1946, paired with an eight by, a printer's loop, an apt metaphor for a deeper, closer look at such a pivotal period. So let's advance to the top's last four finishing items, ideas, and events. Airplanes. The Air Force had commissioned the DC-6 that came out in 1946 And by 1949, 10 airlines flew domestic and international commercial travel with the DC-6. On a side note, the DC-6 was grounded for four months after the two worst crashes to date in 1947, foreshadowing the 737's current grounding. Hooray for Hollywood, the best picture, 1946, the best years of our lives, dealt with the difficulty of returning home for many servicemen at war's end. Big bands and the smooth voices of the 40s played in the clubs, on the radios, and the jukeboxes across the country. While science and technology advanced the post-war influence and leadership at home and around the world. The late summer fair crowds and town life of Monroe shown front and center connect and resonate today, 73 years later, as we examine and reflect on the will and decisions, past and present, that will write world history anew, be it war or peace. Come on. Everybody 